Hi guys, hey guys, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, the Africa Gossip Sender, Stepler TV Africa, where we give you African gossips of what's happening within the continent of Africa. So today I brought you today a story, uh, a story of the Afcon final, the way uh, Ivory Coast uh, beat up Nigeria. It was a fantastic game guys, it was a very good game and it was very competitive. But however, there was a prophecy that was given by the prophet Yubit uh, Angel and he prophesied that uh, he changed, he, he prophesied that someone from Ivory Coast uh, told him to change the results of the game before the game was, was played, before he had, because he had prophesied that Nigeria was uh, going to win. However, to say that he changed the results of the game, <laughs> guys, it's so amazing. Uh, here is the video. You can see it for yourself. I can say what you want to say in the comment section. Please, if it's your first time here, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I ever upload new videos, you will be the first one to know. This is the elephant and this is an eagle. Let me tell you something. I see a bigger animal being eaten by a smaller one. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, said the bird has taken the weapon. It's now doing the killing. Now you can take your seats. Now, watch this, watch this, watch this. This is what I say. When I say it, I say it here. But guess what I then do? I can be, I can leave this location and go to my phone there and type it and somebody from ivory coast i know says prophet can you just do something said prophet i have what was it one million five hundred i don't know half a million or five hundred dollars one million or something i have one million for you i'm i'm going to be watching this today make this team win i'm releasing it so what do i do i go behind the corner and say god you love your son. This cup does not matter. What matters is a million. Why do I give prophecies of football? Especially when we are private like this. Because I'm trying to lure you to me. So I can lead you to Christ the way he has given to me the revelation. It's my pool area. Now, I know what you want. You want me to be talking about AFCOM. I spoke about it yesterday. Oh, yes. Yes, now, baby. and I'm going to do it again today. Yeah. Now, turn to someone next to you and say, these prophecies are done only to lure our people to this building to this location and also to be partners you say oh so it's a financial thing yes this is the way we move ministry the ministry of God is free the means we bring it to you is not is the reality this building right now is not sponsored by the ministry but it's gone over six million US dollars now and at the end of it it will be maybe around 10 to 15 million we have people that are willing to give. Some give a million. Some give two million per year. They are, they are here. They are even in your midst. So imagine when we want to give them benefits. Just to appreciate them. We create portals for them to see these prophecies. And if we want somebody to come to this location. What do you think we are going to do? We do it on those portals. I remember when the World Cup was being played. And every prophet got it right that it was France that was winning. No, 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 no. I, I don't mean to mark them. They actually got it right. But there are few prophets that are given an option to change it. After I announced this is what I saw, a man called me and said, Man of God, what does your church need? I said, we are looking for money 
to do what we need to do with our ministry we have this he said no i can give a million us dollars i said why don't you just give it he says i'm gonna give it freely but i want you to change the winner of afcon So now I have at least maybe one hour to change it. In that one hour, I'm going to convince God in some way. Big, tremendous ways. Have you not seen us here with people who say, my child is a girl? Oh, who is this one? Oh, you are the father. The child was what again? Was a girl. Was a girl. Imagine the doctor said, this is a girl. I come here and say, no, we're now changing. I'm negotiating with God. I go around here for 30 minutes. I say, it's okay now. Go to the hospital. They came back with a boy. Do you understand what I'm talking about? He's now a boy. Yes. So you can understand if there is a benefit that will benefit God. I don't care which country is happy to be what. I go for the benefit of Christianity. If that one million will help our church, you are disadvantaged. God has the ability to shift. I made my decision. Thank you, prophet. Would you go to a decision without money or with money? Money. Cash. What do you do now? Cash. Because we can do a lot with money.